This is the famous Tesla coil experiment. Nikola Tesla had a dream of providing wireless power. And the Tesla coil is something that he invented to, to try and move in that direction. That dream was never really realized. It's, it's just not practical to transfer electricity wirelessly from one place to another. But nevertheless, the Tesla coil is a fascinating object. And what we have is um, a transformer here, this black transformer, which converts the regular 120 volt to 15,000 volts, so it's a step up transformer. And then that energizes this, this there's some copper tubing here and this guy and this guy serve as a second transformer that transforms from about 15,000 volts up to about a million volts, again stepping up the voltage. And then we'll have a discharge of electricity from this top uh, silver colored donut. The other um, element of this is the so-called spark gap, which sets the frequency of the Tesla coil. And the spark gap is, is set by a spinning disk and there are uh, contacts that as, this, as the disk spins, these contacts come close to each other. They don't contact each other, but through a small gap, there's a spark that, that, that comes across. And the speed at which that disk spins sets the frequency of this whole uh, Tesla coil. There's uh, Also a resonance phenomenon that happens with the Tesla coil. In the LRC circuit, a circuit with a resistor, a capacitor, and an inductor, there's a resonant frequency at which it resonates uh, the best. And that frequency is denoted here by F naught, and the value of F naught goes like one over two pi times the square root of the inductor, L, times the effective capacitor C. And so what we'll do is we'll tune the frequency until it matches this resonant frequency of the Tesla coils to get the maximum amplitude of the, of the resonance. This is just the way a radio works. With the, at the heart of a radio is an LC circuit. And we'll be tuning the frequency, the speed at which this disk spins to, uh, to maximize that, that uh, current. So what we will do is to demonstrate this thing. And um, this is the inductor that's relevant to the, the, the uh, resonant frequency. This L here is given by this copper tubing. These are a bunch of capacitors that are in series with each other and uh, they provide the capacitance for the circuit. So let's uh, have a try here. We are going to attempt not to fry any flesh today. And uh, we're on here. My able assistant, Vanessa, is uh, watching out from my backside to make sure I don't die. And um, then we're going to turn this baby off. There are some other toys that we can play with. If, in order for you to get an arc from here to here, it's about a meter apart, you need a voltage of about three times 10 to the six volts. Three million volts per meter is the electric field needed to get dielectric, dis, uh, uh, get discharge of, a, of, get dielectric breakdown of the air in this room. So we're talking about a 3 million volts or so. So what we're going to do now is to get a little bit better discharge. 
and put this point here and have another try. couple more toys that we can try. This is nothing more than a bunch of steel wires that we can place on top. So do I need to discharge with that there or just leave it? can but not necessary. Very cool. This kind of reminds me of the Emperor in, in, in Star Wars, the, the guy that can do the lightning with his fingers. I've always wanted to be able to do that. So that's as close as I get to the, the lightning thing. I wish there were a way to transmit smells. Because right here in the vicinity of this machine, I smell ozone, which is the smell that my brother and I smelled on top of White Rock Mountain in Wyoming just before lightning struck. It has a pungent odor to it. If you smell ozone, you best be getting out of wherever you are. So that is the uh, Tesla coils. Um, I encourage you, if you want to get in close to get close to nature, to climb mountains in thunderstorms, and then maybe you can smell ozone and and get a a lightning bolt. I'm just kidding. Anyway, this is Tesla coils. <laughs>